Okay, in this video, uh, I will explain how to solve a linear system when we end up with only one eigenvalue. Let's see, we are considering the linear system dx dt equal ax plus by and dy dt equal cx plus dy. And the situation that we are considering is when we write the matrix A, B, C, D, and we write the characteristic equation, lambda squared minus the trace of A lambda plus the determinant of A equals zero, we end up with something that looks like lambda minus lambda one squared equals zero. We end up with a perfect square. That means that lambda 1 equal lambda 2. We have only one real eigenvalue. Um, this case is I consider it easier but different. In general, when I give you an initial condition like x of 0 equal x0 and y of 0 equal y sub 0, when, in, in general when I give you an initial condition, usually you think that this is more difficult because you have to find the general solution that has a C1 and C2, and then you need to find the C1 and C2. But this case is different in the sense that if I give you this initial condition, in particular when t equals zero, when t sub zero equals zero, then it's easier than the general solution. But let's, for, for that reason, I will explain first how to do this system with this uh, initial condition of with t sub zero equals zero. Okay, then the procedure is the following. We, we define the vector v sub zero equal to the initial condition that I am providing, right, this initial condition, and then you consider the matrix A minus lambda times the identity matrix, which is the matrix A minus lambda one, B, C, D minus lambda one. Notice that this is a two by two matrix, and this is a two by one vector. And then when I do this matrix, A minus lambda one I, this matrix, and I multiply by V sub zero, I get a vector that goes, that I'm calling it V sub one. This is a vector like, how do I say, W one, W two, right? And, and then, uh, Actually, we are done. The solution of this is this, is this, is x, y equal to e to the lambda 1, t times v sub 0, which is x 0, y 0, plus t e to the lambda 1, t times w 1, w 2. Notice how easy it was. One of the difference is you didn't have to compute an eigenvector. You didn't have to solve a system of equation. You did something different. You multiply a matrix by a vector. That was, that's one of the difference. And, and, and the other di big difference is that if you want to solve an initial value problem, you didn't have to go through the C1 and C2. This is the, this is the solution. Let me do one particular example for that uh, to see how it works. Let's suppose that we have um, dx dt equal 8x plus 3y, 8x plus 3y, and dy dt equal negative 12x minus 4y. And let's suppose that, uh, let's, what initial condition should I provide? Let's suppose that I say x of zero equal uh, x of zero equals two, and y of zero equal negative one. Right? Uh, then in this case, the matrix of the system. Uh, sorry, the, the matrix. Yes, the matrix of the system is the matrix eight, three negative 12 and negative 4. The trace of A is 8 minus 4 is 4 and the determinant of A is negative 32 
plus 36, which is also 4. Then we have lambda squared minus the trace, which is 4 lambda, plus the determinant equals 0. And this is just lambda minus 2 squared equals 0. That means that lambda 1 equal lambda 2 equal 2. Then what is my vector v sub 0 in this situation? My vector v sub 0 would be, in this particular case, it comes from the initial condition because this is t sub 0 equals 0. Then my vector t sub 0 is 2, negative 1. What is my matrix? We have v sub 0. What is my matrix a minus lambda 1i? In this case, my matrix would be a, which is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. B, which is 3, negative 12, negative 4 minus 2, negative 6. That's my matrix, right? And how do I find the vector V1? I have to multiply this matrix by this vector. Let's do that. 6, 3, negative 12, negative 6, times the vector 2, negative 1. How do we do the product of this matrix with this vector? We say this is equal to 6 times 2 is 12. 12 minus 3 is 9. And here we have a negative 24 um, plus 6 would be negative 18. Then this is my vector V sub 1. Now, what is the solution? According to this, the solution is xy equal to e to the 2t, v sub 0, which is 2, negative 1, plus, and when you have a repeated eigenvalue, you, a t shows up, t e to the 2t times 9, negative 18. Now we can express the x and y separate if we want. In this case, it would be x equal to 2 e to the 2t plus t e to the 2t times 9. And y would be negative e to the 2t minus 18 times t e to the 2t. Okay, now uh, I will explain what do we do if we want to find the general solution. If, the, if no initial condition is given and we are given this problem and we want to find the general solution, then it's very similar. But in this case, what we do is we pretend that x of 0 is c1 and y sub 0 is c2. We do the same procedure, uh, we compute this matrix, but notice that now my V1 is not going to be like it was before 2, negative 2, 1. It was 2, negative 1, but now it is C1, C2. Sorry, this is my V0. My V0 is C1, C2, right? Instead of 2, negative 1. What is my V1? My V1, in order to compute the V1, we do a minus minus lambda 1i, which is this matrix, and we multiply it by c1, c2. And in this case, what do we get? We get uh, 6 times c1 plus 3 times c2, and when we multiply this matrix by this, we get negative 12 c1 minus 6 c2. Then the solution, instead of being this one, is going to be xy equal to e to the 2t times b0, which is c1, c2, plus t e to the 2t v1. But now v1 is not 9, negative 18, but this is my, my v1. It's going to be 6 times c1 plus 3 times c2, negative 12 times c1, minus 6 c2. And, and then, if we want to express the solution, separate x would be c1 
e to the 2t plus 6 times c1 plus 3c2 times t e to the 2t and my y would be c2 e to the 2t plus negative 12 c1 minus 6 c2 times t e to the 2t this would be the general solution notice that one of the difference between this case and the other case is that in the other cases you write down the c1 and c2 at the end here you write when you want to compute the general solution you you write the c1 c2 at the beginning and you just keep track of that c1 c2 and the c1 and c2 shows up naturally in the answer you don't add the c1 and c2 at the end you are you just put it write it down at the beginning and it will appear naturally in the answer okay i think this is it for this case let's stop here